Remember, Alexander came very close to grabbing her first limited late model victory a week ago. And she is in our Snapchat uh, situation. Our Snapchat takeover driver is Alexandra Fern. Let's see what she's going to be able to do. She's been very racy and very strong in 2017. Here they come. There's the green for Mike Helberg. And down to the bottom of turn number one, Matt Clements guards the spot, but look at Lavoie. Three wide, Matt, off the second turn. Clement being suffocated by Lavoie on the inside and Alexander Fern on the outside. Alexandra takes over the lead and Lavoie will scamper into second. Alexandra Fern wasted no time at all to run to the front of this class. There's no question about it. She sets a blistering pace, side-by-side -side racing. We usually don't see Provost this strong this early in an event. He's already up to the podium, and here comes Brian Narducci, who started seventh on the grid. Yeah, right now, Provost, one of the loudest firecrackers into this, the display, but here comes Narducci. Dive bomb move underneath the 88. Brian Narducci will rocket his way into the top three. Narducci is possessed. All of for us. Ryan Fern. Yes, and the number 04 machine for Albert Saunders. Ryan Fern gets bounced to the bottom of the field. Back off the turn. It is still Alexandra Fern setting a blistering pace. But the man who just puts off the quickest lap of the race is Jeremy Lavoie with a 21 899. And he needs to win in a worse way. Falling out of the point lead last week, he is pestering the back bumper of the Alexander Fern car as they swing off the corner. Narducci in third, followed by Provost and Matt Clement. That car got a little rambunctious in turn number four, but he was able to calm things down at the front of the field. The drama consists of Alexander Fern trying to hold off Lavoie. Lavoie continues to reel him in. He'll close up the gap ever so slightly. But when they come off the turn, it's the Safeco King Ward Bus Lines machine for Alexandra Fern, still setting a blistering pace. Narducci's up on the podium now in third. He is coming. Last circuit by, he was the third quickest. So he's not gaining a lot, but Provost is coming back to challenge Narducci for that third position. And Albert Saunders has the fastest lap of the race so far, and he is buried at the tail end of the field. The gap continues to shrink for Alexandra Fern as trailing by about a toothpick. Jeremy Lavoy, Narducci, that car usually is at its best during the second half of the race. And the same thing can be said for Dwayne Provost. So uh, as this race continues, expect Narducci and Provost to get even closer to the front tier of the field. There's no question about it. Seven laps of the 20. Now into the record books. Lavoy trying to save his tires just a bit. Now he reels them back in. Here comes Alexander still setting a pace, but Lavoy is glued to his back bumper. Last Saturday, Brian Narducci got his first ever open wheel win in an SK Light at the New London Waterford Speed Bowl. We expect to see him in an SK Light at the fall final when he is scheduled to be doing double duty. Right now his goal is to get close to the boy as they skid to the outside of the corner. Kind of a lot of screeching going on between Alexander Fern and Jeremy Lavoie. Certainly is, but Brian Narducci is coming. Matt, you should also mention how many starts did he have in the open wheel car before he won? His third start, and he was able to win. He had a 13th, improved that to a third his second time out, and then a victory getting underneath Dina DiMatteo, the older brother of Corey DiMatteo, to get the victory. Right now, the, the plot continues to strengthen as Alexander Fern by a fingernail over Jeremy Lavoie. What a battle they're having. Lavoie made an effort, and Alexander Fern was able to shut him down. It was Lavoie who made the attempt, but it didn't complete the mission as he had to settle back into second. The Aspen Hill Farms machine setting in second with a lot of giddy-up as he continues to be able to reel him in. Narducci is getting quicker. Provost is getting quicker. This is not over with yet, Matt. We've got a long way to go, and four cars are contending for the one spot. Look at Lavoie. 
He goes out of line trying to get the lead away from Alexandra. And Alexandra had some power between turns one and two. And she was able to hold him off again. The top four cars could fit in a Cracker Jack box. The prize right now is being grabbed by Alexandra Fern looking for her first ever limited late model victory. There's no question about it. She is guarding her spot and doing a fine job hitting her marks every time by. LaVoy has been waiting. Narducci still trying to close up the gap. Meanwhile, LaVoy again looks to the inside, Matt, but Alexandra just doesn't give up. She continues to maintain the number one spot. As Alexander Fern is doing a good job protecting her first place turf. Narducci in third, trying to hold off Provost. Here comes Lavoy again. This time, it's do or die time for Jeremy Lavoy. Lavoy guards the bottom lane, off the turn. Plenty of good racing room between the two, but at the stripe, Jeremy Lavoy becomes the second leader of the event. But it's short-lived because Alexandra keeps digging in on the outside. Narducci and Provost looking to get into the big dance in this one. As they're side by side, a little do -si do for the lead, Matt, as they come to the strike. Yeah, Lavoie got a little sideways, is able to recover, and he maintains his grip on the lead by a teardrop over Alexander Fern. So those two drivers handcuffed together as they barrel their way into turn number three. Narducci, a factor in car number 28. Here comes Lavoie trying to stuff it underneath Alexander Fern as they rabble rouse their way off the corner. Alexander Fern is back in front. There's no question about it. She wants this victory and she wants it bad. She continues to guard the upper lane. She lost the lead, took it back, and by inches, she's there again. Narducci is there. Wow! Three wide to the bottom. Lavoy, the meat in the sandwich there. Narducci moves into second. Popsicle sticks her up. Narducci sent it in, but he could only get it in second place. That enabled Alexander Fern to open up a lead over the 28 in Narducci. Here comes Alexandra into turn number three. The battle is for fourth and fifth between Provost and Saunders. Provost going for a championship. Every spot is vital. One more time around. Can Alexandra Ford keep it together and get her first limited late model victory? She continues to set a blistering pace. Brian Narducci, remember where he took second, was down in turn three. Down to the bottom of the third turn. Here comes Narducci. Bottom shot move. Alexandra guards the spot. Alexandra Fern will bring him back to the line. She'll take down the win. Brian Narducci for second. Jeremy Lavoie for third. Albert Saunders to finish in fourth. So let's go to Napa Victory Lane and Kyle Ricky. She led 18 laps a week ago and fell just short. Led most of them here tonight. Alexandra Fern, congratulations. Your first limited late model win. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great feeling, especially after some of the hardships we've had this year, um, and especially after last week. That was really disappointing and weird. But um, anyways, <laughs> wow, it feels great to be here racing with the six. He was on the inside and I was on the outside. That was so cool. Great racing. Love racing with him. Um, anyways, we worked so hard on this car all week, and this is really a huge payoff after um, this crazy year we've had. Um, I can't thank my car owner, Amadeo, enough. He is... He's great. Um, my dad, Tom, Sue, Dave, my brother, John G. Powers, Soper, who else? I need to remember to thank everyone because this is special. Um, all my sponsors, Safe Go Foam, Route Auto Machine, King Ward Coach Lines, Whip Sporting Goods, Williams Race Gears, Sunoco Race Fuel, Stafford Motor Speedway for this great event, um, all that. But really, I'm so happy to be here, and thank you so much to everyone who helps me out. I would be nothing without you guys. You know who you are. Thank you. A lot of folks to thank down here in Victory Lane. Alexandra Fern celebrating her first limited late model win. Move over and talk to uh, some of the other folks among the, uh, the leaderboard. Ryan Narducci, a uh, good run, a good late charge to finish in second. Kind of walk us through your 20 laps. Yeah, the car started off, it was a little tight and it started a little loose off. And I just tried different things and finally got it to where I could handle it, where it wasn't loose. And... I, if I had another two laps, maybe even a lap, I probably would have got her, but you can only get what you can take, so happy with the second. Good points today and in one piece, so that's good. Finished in the second spot for Brian Arducci. Congratulations, Jeremy Lavoie. Finished up in the third spot. A, a, a wild three-wide move that you find yourself in the middle of with two laps to go. Kind of walk us through that lap. 
Uh, that may not have been the best decision, but uh, he's done it a couple times here. Um, you know, I got to thank my crew. We've had a couple bad weeks, and, uh, you know, we obviously surrendered the point lead to Dwayne Provost. But uh, to come in here and to keep our heads up high and, you know, put it on the podium is huge. Uh, Alexandra, she had an awesome car tonight. I mean, they've been working on that car, and, and good for her to get the win. Um, you know, it was car was getting loose, and uh, you know, I was just hanging on, trying to you know get a top three like we did. And you know, I got to thank my sponsors, Aspen Hill Farm and Jeans Ford and Chevy, my crew, my father, my aunt, my uncle, my sister for putting us, put us in the garage every night. Uh, I got to thank my cousin as well. There was a couple weeks ago where we had to really tear down in tech, and he stepped in, and you know, he put everything forward, even in his Sunday best. He was in there all greasy, and so I got to thank him for that. And uh, I got to thank the fans, Napa and Stafford Speedway for putting on a great show. All right, congratulations, third place run. Thank you. Jeremy Lavoie in the third place run here tonight at Stafford Motor Speedway. Another great run for the limited late models here tonight. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. Next we go to our late model division. There